I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. When I was a little girl, my mother told the story of how I was born on Pearl Harbor Day, the day our Pacific fleet in Honolulu Harbor was bombed and our country entered into World War II. She would add that that day was also special because my Uncle Walt had a Pearl Harbor story as well. Uncle Walt was Mom's youngest brother and he was a student at San Jose State playing with the Spartan football team during the early 1940s. This is a picture of him with his team in the Latore 1943 yearbook. Uncle Walt is shown in the front row on the extreme left as number 76. While he was playing football at San Jose State, his team, the Spartans, had the opportunity to go to Hawaii to play three postseason benefit games with the University of Hawaii and Willamette University. The year was 1941. And on November 27th of that year, on Thanksgiving Day, they left San Francisco aboard the luxury Matson liner, the SS Lurleen. The Spartans were scheduled to arrive in Honolulu December 3rd, and they arrived as scheduled. Luck was with them because on that day of the bombing, December 7th, the team was safely put up at the Hotel Moana on the island of Oahu, far away from the Schofield barracks that were bombed. Official reports of their safety were not confirmed until over a week later. The Spartan Daily of the San Jose State College was running headline stories on the team from December 8th through the middle part of December, detailing whatever could be gleaned regarding their safety from sources both official and unofficial. It's hard to realize today with our instantaneous ways of getting news that in 1941 getting news from across the ocean was a much more complicated affair. For now that the war was on, phone lines were being censored, and in the case of getting news about something as sensitive as the circumstances surrounding this team in a war zone was a protracted affair at best. Until lately, I had forgotten much of the details of this story. Mom, who was the storyteller in the family, died when I was a teenager. Our family saw very little of Uncle Walt after he moved out of the Bay Area. But on December 7, 1981, the 40th anniversary of Pearl Harbor, I bought the San Jose Mercury with a hunch that just maybe the story of his team would be written up. I remember opening the paper and staring at the picture of the San Jose State College Spartan team, and I saw my uncle sitting on his luggage in the front row, looking disgustingly healthy as a Mercury reporter of the day had written of the team. The team had just arrived in San Francisco on Christmas Day and were obviously elated to be back home. In the 1981 article by Wes Payton, they came for the football game and stayed for the war. He recounted how the team had been recruited to help out the Honolulu police to calm the badly shaken civilians, even to help guard the water supply. This part of the story I now remembered. Mom had told of Uncle Walt's team escorting civilians back to the United States. But I had never been clear on exactly how this had taken place. It seems that the circumstances of the bombing had left the football team trapped on the island of Oahu, where they would stay from December 3rd for 12 days until December 19th, working with the Honolulu police to help provide order among a very frightened population. There was also much concern that the football team might have to stay in the islands until after the war unless they left immediately. However, they were lucky, as the SS President Coolidge was deployed to pick up the badly burned survivors of the bombing raid and to bring them back to San Francisco for medical treatment. The Spartans, including my Uncle Walt, were able to get on the first wartime convoy back to the United States aboard the SS President Coolidge. 
Once again, they cooperated in assisting the passengers in many ways. On January 13, 1942, the Spartan Daily posted the letter from Frank Knox, the Secretary of the U.S. Navy, commending the San Jose football team for their meritorious service. I have included a picture of Uncle Walt, who enlisted immediately after his return, and myself in the early 1940s.